Good morning girls and boys, good morning parents, I hope you're all well. This is your Friday phonics session and this is the group A session. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flick through some of your sounds. And parents, if there's any sounds that your children are finding particularly tricky or they're not sure of, if you could just let us know via email or pop it on tapestry and we'll be able to review those in the upcoming weeks. So let's have a go at our sounds this morning. Are we ready? D. Mm. T. I. N. P. G. O. K. A. B. O. Fantastic. Well done if you got all of those right. Now the sound we're going to look at today, again, is one that lots of you might already know, but we're just going to review it and make sure that we're forming it really clearly and that we're saying it correctly and that we're reading words with this sound in. So the sound we're looking at today is this sound. What is this sound? S. Well done if you said s. And can you remember the picture for s? It's the snake. Well done. Snake. And can you remember how we write it? We slither down the snake. Should we all have a go together with your finger? Slither down the snake. One more time. Slither down the snake. Super. S. Now this side is the s sound and this is the snake. So let's see if you can tell me which side is which and I'll try and trick you. Are you ready? S. Snake. Snake. S. Well done. I'm going to hide the s sound in my cards. And we're going to see if you can spot it. And can you remember what you need to do if you spot it? You need to point. Well done. Are we ready? Mmm. T. I. Mmm. Well done if you spotted that s sound. I'm going to hide it again. Let's see if you can spot it this time. T. I. Mmm. Well done if you spotted the s sound. Fantastic. Now we're going to have a go at Fred talking some words with the s sound in them. So if you remember, it's my turn first and then it's your turn. I'm going to have a go at Fred talking it and then we'll blend it together at the end. Are you ready? Your first word is, it's a name. It's s a m. S a m. Um, Sam. Well done, super. And your next word is this word. Is. 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 Well done, super. And your last word is going to be this. It's going to be s -ix. S -ix. X six. Well done, super. Now we're going to have a go at writing our sounds on either a piece of paper or a whiteboard. So you're going to have that ready. And the first sound you're going to practice is our sound of the day, which is the s sound. So can you remember how we write it? We slither down the snake. Should we have a go together? Slither down the snake. Well done. We're going to do another one. Slither down the snake. And one more. Slither down the snake. Oh, I've got one that looks a little bit different. What do you think I've done? 
I've done it back to front, haven't I? I've gone the wrong way, so I need to rub that one out. Let me try another one and see if it's the same as these ones. Slither down the snake. Is that better? Super. Can you see how they're all the same size and I've tried to keep them all looking the same so they're lovely and neat. Now, if you'd like to pause the video and have a go at writing your s sound for me. Well done. Now, the next sound we're going to practice is one that we've already done, but we're going to have a go again. It's going to be the mmm sound. Can you remember how we write mmm? It's mazy, mountain, mountain. Would you like to have a go as well? Mazy, mountain, mountain. Super. If you'd like to pause the video and have a go at writing mazy, mountain, mountain. Well done. And the last sound we're going to practice is going to be our I sound. I. Can you remember how we write I? It's the insect, isn't it? Well done if you remembered. It's the insect. We go down the body and dot to the head. Should we have another go? Down the body and dot for the head. And one more time. Down the body and dot for the head. Well done. If you'd like to practice writing your I sound for me. Super. And the last thing we're going to practice is we're going to try and build a word together with the S sound in it. So you can use a whiteboard, piece of paper, you could write it, or you can use your letters that you have in a pack and try and build this word for me. So the word I want you to try and build or write is the word sit. Sit. I sit in a chair. Sit. Now, what does sit start with? What do we think? Sit. It starts with the s sound, doesn't it? Sit. Slither down the snake. S. What's the next sound you can hear in sit? Sit. S. Well done if you said i. I. Insect down his body and for his head. Sit. Now what's the last sound you can hear in sit? Sit. Well done if you said it's the t sound. Tall t. Sit. S I t. Sit. Well done. If you built it like this using your sound cards or if you wrote it on your piece of paper and it looked like this, you can give yourself a tick for each sound that you've got right, sit. Well done, super. Now parents, if you want to continue to extend this, you can use more words with the s sound in them. You can get them to try and write a sentence with words using the s sound in them. So you could say the cat sat on a mat, something as simple as that and try and get them to either write it or sound it out, or you can write it and get them to read it to you. It's all fantastic phonics work. Also as well, the resources again that you can use are Ruth Miskin on YouTube, Phonics Place, fantastic online, and there's the Oxford Owl online as well that you can access. Also as well, for this particular group, we've been working with getting them to write it in different ways. So again, like with chalk, writing it in sand, getting them to make it with Play-Doh, anything that's quite practical and hands-on and kinesthetic to try and get them to write the sounds and create the sounds and then build upon that and create the words. So you can use any resources that you've got at home as well to do that. Okay, any other questions, please do email or pop a note on Tapestry and I shall see you for your Monday phonics session. Bye.